Well, we're out in a muddy field here in the spring, and you know, there's probably not a lot of nitrogen in this soil, so you would think you're gonna have to add nitrogen to a crop if it's gonna yield well. Ah, you think that, Brian, but not necessarily. It's great when you can get biology in your fields working in your favor, and you can actually get a lot of free fertilizer because biology, like bacteria, like especially rhizobia bacteria in the legume crops, will start producing nitrogen from the air, and it'll do it 24 hours a day, seven days a week while your crop's in that field. Yep, so today we wanted to talk just a little bit about inoculant in soybeans, and all inoculant is is live bacteria that you're putting on the seed, and when those bacteria get into the soil and start doing their job, you're gonna end up with a bunch of free nitrogen for your crop, and hopefully slightly higher yields. Well, you can actually put rhizobia in the furrow, but I really prefer to put it right on the seed. That way, those little tiny bacteria are right there on your plant as it starts growing, and as the roots move down. Okay, you talked about in furrow. Let's answer that question real quick. If you want to put inoculant in there, you're going to need two to three times as much inoculant as if you put it right on the seed. If it's right on the seed, it is exactly where it needs to be early on in the season. If you put it in furrow, some of it's going to be there, some of it's not. So that would be our recommendation. Put it on the seed to save money and use less. If you absolutely want to put it in furrow, up your rate two to three times. Okay, we're in a field that had beans last year, and so this is a great time to bring this point up. A lot of people say, well, wait a minute, uh, I have beans in my rotation, maybe it's not continuous beans, but I just had them there. Do I really need more bacteria out there? And the reason you want this bacteria right on your seed when you're planting, regardless of what your crop rotation is, is that the bacteria are much more effective when they're right on the main taproot. Now there will be some natural rhizobia bacteria out in your field, and they'll find your roots somewhere, well, and they may be way out on a side branch okay, we got, rather than right on the right. taproot. Well, we got two issues there, so we got a lot of stuff to talk about with inoculant. You might say, oh, it's just a little bacteria, no big deal. It is a big deal. There's a lot of science behind this thing. And Darren's getting into two totally separate things. So we better sort this out for you. First of all, you want to put the new bacteria out there because the newer bacteria, things like Rutastic, a newer inoculant, that's got a lot more science behind it. And the scientists have actually been able to now isolate certain bacteria that are better at fixing nitrogen or pulling it from the air and getting it into the plant. They do a better job. So that's the first thing. The second thing is these native bacteria that are in the soil, yes, they can fix nitrogen. They don't do it as well. So we really want to put the new bacteria on rather than have some of these old bacteria that aren't as good. The third thing is if we have nodules on the main taproot, it's been proven that you can actually get about 10 times more nitrogen than when you have the nodules on the lateral roots. So we encourage you to dig your plants up this summer, and when you look for nodules, especially look for them on the main taproot. If you have a lot on the main taproot, that's a great thing. Okay, here's another reason why you want to inoculate your seed and do it every year, because the Brazilians and the Argentinians are doing it. And if you don't do it, you're falling behind. Even though a lot of times they're raising beans on beans, or at least they're raising beans every year, you know, that a lot of times they can raise two crops actually, but they'll raise soybeans every year, they still put more inoculant on there because a lot of their studies have shown that when they inoculate their beans, they're gonna have more nitrogen left for the next crop, whether that's corn or sugarcane or whatever that happens to be, they have more nitrogen left when they've inoculated. Okay, now if you think that we're just giving you a big sales pitch on inoculant, you know, here's the reason why we're talking about this today and why I'm so adamant about it, because I am so sick of hearing universities, and I'm going to I'm gonna name names today, Darren. I, I, oh, no. I'm tired here, of this. Yep. Here we go. You know what? It doesn't yep. even matter, Brad. It's yeah, not it just does. universities. Yes, There's it does. There's a lot of private guys out there, too, that say, oh, you're only I, getting I, I, a bushel or two bushels better on average. Well, you know yep. what? That's a big deal. You look at Ohio State's studies, and, yep. and they've been fantastic, and they're looking at what return on investment is. So I have to applaud the guys at Ohio State. They're doing a good job, and they're showing, you know what? We're getting more than our money back just about every time, and most times we're getting a 500 to 1,000% APR return on investment. That is fantastic. Yep, and that's where I was going with this thing. If you look at what Ohio State has done, I mean, they're big proponents of this. If you go to Iowa State, for example, where they tell you, oh, if you only get a half a bushel, how does that pay? Well, you know what? Half a bushel pays pretty darn good, because last time I checked, beans were eight bucks. If I get a half bushel, that's $4 back on a $1.50 investment. Sounds like I more than doubled my money. I think that'll work. And you know, even on our farm, heck, and it was this field right here, and this is the reason why we're out here today, it was this field right here that five years ago, we had a great big inoculant study all across this whole quarter section. 
And on average, that particular year, we gained about five bushels an acre with inoculant. Now, don't get me wrong, you don't normally do not gain five bushels. You normally gain a half bushel or a bushel, but every once in a while, you hit the home run like that. We gained five bushels, we sold the beans that year for a pretty good price, that, that bought us our inoculant for the next 20 years on this farm. So inoculant is a good thing. It normally is going to help you gain yield and it should leave a little more nitrogen in the soil at the end of the year. So I guess all we would ask for any of these researchers out there talking about all this stuff, do some serious work guys because inoculant pays all the time. And also when you're doing your studies, check for nitrogen at the end of the year because if you have three more pounds left for your corn the next year, you know what? You don't even need a yield gain. You now can pay for your inoculant. Well, inoculant can do a lot of things, but it can't kill our weed of the week. We'll show you what can coming up next.